Good morning, friends. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. It's going to be a hot, warm day. And I am now making my morning smoothie. And I just did my workout and I had like one banana before my workout and then two bananas right after it. And now I'm making my green smoothie while I'm talking with you guys. So what I'm kind of going to put to my smoothie is kale. Because I found this bag of kale which is like already chopped. So it's easy to put, put in the blender. And then I'm going to put some... Uh, I have these really ripe nectarines and uh, two like super ripe peaches and then I'm gonna put some bananas and that's gonna be like really delicious, sweet and yeah healthy I, I totally like love peaches in the, in the smoothies, it makes it the taste so good and I, I love the summertime when the, there's so many fruits available here in Finland too. Um, I woke up today uh, with a pain in my, like here in the upper, upper back, like a, it's really like sting, sting, stinging pain here and I was like worried that if I'm able to do my my push-up challenge uh, today was a rest day from that but I, I still was able to do some like lower body uh, exercises because I'm kind of like addicted to exercising in the mornings so I really have to do something so I did the, some squats well, actually, I did 100 squats, and uh, then I did <clears throat> this Tabata training, which is like high-intensity interval training uh, for 12 minutes. So it was really quick, but really intense, and uh, I always feel so amazing after I've done the workout. So that's why I, I just always want to do it, even though my I was hurting a little bit from here, but... But I didn't do much like with my hands. And then after my workout, I go to shower, then I do some stretching, a little bit of meditating, a little bit of yoga. It all takes about one hour from my morning. And it's kind of a routine that I've developed over the years. And it's something that it's really hard to give up. And I don't really want to give up on it because it makes me feel amazing in the mornings and makes me feel energized and yeah and I know that moving your body is healthy and I want to look good and toned and I, I know that I'm still working on it I still have some fat to lose like from my belly and my thighs but I, in time it will all come go away I will release the fat and be even more healthy and look even more glowing than I already do. Okay, so now we have the kale here. I think that's about enough for me because I haven't really been using kale in my smoothies, just like spinach or lettuce or something like ten tender leafy greens. So this is my first first time trying out uh, kale. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the Peaches are really, really like smooshy, almost like almost overripe, but it doesn't smell bad. So I'm gonna put that in my smoothie. So we'll see what happens tomorrow with the push up challenge. If I still have the pain in my back, I can't do it. But that's just, I just don't do it then and have a break from that. And then I'll continue when I'm recovered from this pain. 
Okay, I'm gonna finish this smoothie and blend it and show how it turns out once I'm ready. Okay, so here we have the final product, which had seven bananas, two peaches, four nectarines, probably about 50 grams of kale and water. And uh, it's not that green, but it still has good nutri nut nutrients in it. And the green smoothie is something really fun uh, because many people have difficulties with eating greens as they are um, but when you put them into a smoothie you can't really taste that they are in there even though you can see that it's green but usually you can't taste it if you put just a little bit of it in the smoothie and then increase the amount of greens in your smoothies until you get used to this the used to the taste so now i'm gonna try this smoothie with a with kale in it i've never done kale smoothies before so here goes I really love the peach. It's so good. It's it takes the smoothie to another to another level. It's like it's like so good. Like amazing, amazing. I think I'm going to buy those peaches now that they're available and and freeze them so that I can eat them during the winter time as well because we don't have frozen peaches at stores available yet. So I was thinking I would do that because I really love peaches and this is really good too. I will see you later. Hello, I just did a work uh, yeah, yeah. smoothie for work, bananas and mangoes. So I'm in a rush and I have to go, but I will see you later. Bye bye. Hello, I'm on my way home from work I just had to go buy the ticket to the festival and now I will ride my bike to home and get, uh, get ready for the festival and probably I will make a smoothie because I'm really hungry again so I will see you in the soon because I I want to get some footage from the festival okay so I'm gonna make some smoothie before I go to the festival so I have frozen strawberries here and then I'm gonna put five bananas I'm so so hungry and I was just thinking about what I'm gonna take with me to the festival because you're not allowed to get like bottles where if they are opened you don't you're not allowed to take bottles if you have some like own drink so I thought I was gonna take this with me this is orange juice and I think I'm gonna take one cucumber with me to snack. And unfortunately, I don't have any dried fruits, which I could be snacking there. But I'll just have to cope with it and and uh, eat one once I get home. So now we have four bananas. I'm gonna put five. Here we have 
bananas and strawberries and I'm gonna blend them with some water and drink it up quickly before I go to the festival because I am running a little bit late so ciao <laughs> Hello, I just came home from the festival and I'm exhausted but really happy. We had a really nice time. We were dancing and chatting with my friend and uh, it was nice to see her and talk about food because she has a lot she is it's a lot the same way that I do so it's pretty rare here in Finland to eat like vegan or mostly raw vegan diet so it's always nice to chat chat with people about that and it's funny because <clears throat> because uh going to these festivals it's funny because I used to live in this idea or thought or attitude that I can't go to these festivals or or um, or club or clubs or whatever because people are drinking there and 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 uh, because I don't drink anymore and they serve this food that I don't I don't want to eat and but I I, I had this thought that I can't. I can't go there anymore, and and it's 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 kind of funny because of course I can go there, but it's only it's it's only a different kind of experience for me because now I really get to like where is the camera? I really get to like enjoy the music and dance and and I'm not in there like dr drinking and like making a fool of myself I'm just enjoying and having a really really good time and just being in the present moment and enjoying so so I'm gonna go to bed now to sleep and I will see you tomorrow thank you for watching and give me any comments or questions you have below and I will answer you <laughs> Bye-bye.